On the 23rd of September in Brussels, the 10th anniversary of the European Researchers' Night event was organized, celebrating science in the EU and beyond with an exciting program open for all. The European Researchers' Night, as this 10th anniversary event, is part of the Maurice Broska Curie Actions, which is a program funded at the EU level for the training and career development of researchers and that mostly through mobility. So you get money to do your research as a, uh, as a young or advanced researcher somewhere else in Europe or even somewhere else in, in the world to get more knowledge, more insight into your field and then to bring it back to society and help advance society and economy. So that is the reason why we fund all these researchers and a lot of people around here today and now we actually have more than 6 billion euros available to do this. There's a project that started very recently, probably a year ago, and it's about the common root of all uh, STEM areas, like sciences, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and its problems. So what I try to bring here is problem-solving games. Simple plan at the moment, but using something called augmented reality, we can actually take a two-dimensional plan and turn it into a three-dimensional object that we can visualize. The idea here is to use uh, um, technologies coming from the laboratory to be applied to making food. In this case, we're preparing ice cream with liquid nitrogen. There is a frequency generator that gives frequencies to the glass and it's vibrating. And then sometimes we can see the glass breaking, but for now it's just vibrating and there was a ball inside, it was just spinning around and then it went out. We can see something different and try, because when you are in school we just say, okay, it's like this, it's just theory, and now we can try something to see what exactly the scientific do, so. I love science, but it's now, uh, it's like I can see people doing it so it can inspire me and so I can maybe become one of those people. I just saw some very spectacular experiments and stands. For example, I held fire in my hand, I uh, ate molecular ice cream and there were a lot of adventures which were really exciting. Researchers are just like Common people just like us, they live among us, but they are at the same time very special people because they have something in their brain, in their mind, and in their practice. That's research, that's the investing into the future. And I think we have to make it popular, we have to open it up to the ordinary citizens and to the common people. And that's why the Researchers' Night is a very good initiative and occasion for that.